Next way to block off areas around your roads is to use terrain. Terrain is a very powerful way to block these areas off. So simply you would just take your brush and then duplicate it and move it where it lines up with the road or the curb. So for example, let's say we wanted to uh, have terrain come up from this end and uh, block off the rest of this sidewalk. So let's apply a texture to the top of the face. So let's say um, some kind of a blend texture. So I'm going to filter blend. So let's say this detail sprite overgrown applied here and then we select the top face, go into displacements, click create, set it to 2 at first and then we can begin to shape the displacement by panning geometry. Let's bump this up. So here we have a very basic terrain that kind of blocks off the sidewalk. And then we can also go back and uh, start painting alpha into some of the sections, such as underneath, to kind of believe, to kind of create more believable uh, blending between uh, where the curb meets the terrain. And then you could add more detail to the terrain by simply taking prop statics and uh, creating. Uh, and putting trees in there. So here I just duplicated the prop static from we had before. Then I'm going to browse and just replace that. Uh, I'm gonna filter tree. Click apply. So here we have our tree and we can just raise it up to where it matches the terrain. Uh, same thing we can do on the corner of these roads. So we would do the same thing if we want to have uh, the corner of the road. So instead of using a sidewalk or a curb like we did previously, we would simply again create the brush, make sure that it lines up, and then we go and apply texture to the top, select the top face, go to the displacement, and then create. Set it to 2, you can set it to 3, let's do this one on 3. Uh, this gives us uh, more tessellations on our displacement brush, and then we can simply begin to paint geometry. You can increase the radius, and then just start painting and raising the terrain up. Now when you begin to do this uh, next to the road, uh, it becomes important to have a blend texture that, uh, that can start to uh, match the road that you have here. You want to be very careful not to raise this part of the road a little bit too high so you can see gaps. So uh, often when you get close to the road you want to lower your radius and kind of build it up from there. Pan alpha and start panning in these areas to kind of start creating more believable transition uh, how a real road would look like next to a uh, displacement next to a terrain. So then we can begin here on the edge next to the road and start painting these elements in. Let's go back to material and actually let's uh, bring this down so it matches a little bit more uh, in detail so here we have uh, our road and our terrain right next to the road and then we, we could do the same thing by adding various trees and uh, foliage elements to the displacement here. Uh, also again you can see that adding foliage helps to uh, disguise this transition between the road and the displacement. You can also use overlays, click on apply overlays and click browse and we can filter overlay and see what we can find here or we can also filter decal that gives us more options of uh, applying decals as overlays so let's say maybe something like this uh, dirt 02 so apply something like this first uh, with overlays we can resize our overlays we can make them a lot bigger and since we applied it to one brush we need to go into properties and add our extra faces so we would select brush faces click on pick and select all of them around here and now we have some dirt added to the corner also at this point you can take your roads and turn them into a displacement as well so we can take these roads that we have 
go on to displacement, select the top brush and then create. Then we can begin to paint geometry by elevating the middle of the road so it tapers off on each end and creating a more realistic road that we previously discussed in uh, the very first tutorial. And then you would just continue on raising the middle so the edges are tapered off and you have uh, a very slight elevation that kind of curves in the middle. Now if you were creating more of a rural road where this would be a dirt road and you have terrain meeting up right against it, you would need to have uh, where your dirt road can match and blend into the terrain. Now for that type of road I created a very basic scene to where we have a road in a country rural type of setting. So we have a road that is a displacement also we have terrain on each side that you see here and this terrain matches our road. We chose the textures so each texture from the road blends into the terrain. So when you're creating a rural country type of road that you see here it's very important that you choose your textures and you have your terrain lined up on both sides and then you would do the same steps where you would elevate the road in the middle and then you would taper off in the gutter and then you would go into and begin to paint your alpha and you can see that this road along with the terrain matches so if I begin to paint out this is what we had before this creates a very straight edge that lines up with the terrain texture and this looks unrealistic we can go and begin to hide using decals overlays or props but this would just take too long to do that and it would be very complex and hard scene to render. So by using the displacement and begin to paint alpha, this texture nicely blends with the terrain creating a very natural transition. And then the rest of the environment is used with prop static for trees, bushes uh, to create a more natural realistic rural environment. So depending on if you have a urban setting or if you have a rural setting that you have a few options of how you would blend the texture between terrain and the road. Using terrain is a very powerful method of blocking off your roads. So let me take this brush I'm going to duplicate it and just move it over here and just align it and expand it. And I'm going to make sure that it's on the same level. So here we have our brush it it's black enough around our road and let me apply a texture on top and now I'm going to select the top face and go to displacement create power of 2 for right now and so we have our terrain blacked in here and then we can go and begin to modify and paint geometry so if we set this to uh, face normal or Z axis we can move it up or down and begin to hide the outer edges so it doesn't peek through the road and I'm using a lower radius and uh, a very uh, low distance we have our terrain and it's blocked off and it's not shown through the road and then we can begin to use the displacement paint geometry and begin to paint up and we can also increase the power to have a more uh, detail to the terrain here by selecting the terrain and change the power to 3, apply and then we can begin to paint geometry with more precision. There are also a few additional displacement options that you can use when you are manipulating and painting geometry on your terrain. So instead of just simply using where you are painting up and down the z-axis uh, when you switch over to X or Y axis you're able to paint in different directions so this becomes very useful when you are dealing with terrain uh, where you can manipulate points to point them away from uh, peeking through your roads or other geometry so working in individual axes will help you to manipulate and have greater control over your terrain so here is an environment to show you how I used the BSP brushes and turned them into a displacement around a curved surface. So here we have a straight road, here we have a curved road turning 90 degrees 
and it continues on around this cliff. So uh, these are simple BSP brushes that were created into a displacement and I use three brushes here on the bottom and three brushes here on top and then I paint the geometry around the road blocking this off as well as placing the various prop statics to uh, detail the size of the road and block them off as well as choosing the appropriate texture and painting alpha on those textures to uh, create a, a this environment. If we take these brushes for the mount on here and if I go in into the displacement and if we destroy them we can see that I took these one two three brushes and after I created these brushes I turned them into displacement and just slowly one by one I painted the geometry into I make sure that uh, the cliff aligned as you see here. Same thing was done for these displacements. If I select these and go to displacement and click destroy you can see that this started off as one, two, three simple brushes after they were turned into displacement I painted the geometry down to form this cliff. So using the terrain is a very powerful method of blocking off your roads including your curved roads that we see here. Here's another example. We have a straight road and then we have a curved 90 degree turn and then we have displacement all around it blocking in this road. Here I used a combination of things. I used terrain displacement to block off the sloped curved surface as well as brushes. So now let's cover how to use brushes to block off a curved sloped surface.